Well, hello, YouTubers. Um, little update. This is my 2001 uh, Ford Taurus. Uh, it's got 130,000 miles. Um, redid the uh, transmission. It's been running great and everything. And uh, I've picked up a little noise since I have been driving it that I didn't hear before. Although before I heard a noise and turned out it was lower ball joints. So I replaced the lower ball joints. And there's a video on my uh, channel that shows you how to do that. But uh, this became a mystery uh, when I was driving it. Um, I'd hit bumps. I would hear uh, a slight rattle and noise, and I couldn't figure out what was going on. So I pulled the wheel off, and I've got a really long bar out here. And uh, I was checking things, prying on everything, and I uh, couldn't find anything that was really loose. And uh, it's like it's really hot out today, so I'd already give up. Hot as well, almost hot as balls, but I gotta watch what I'm saying now because YouTube is flagging videos if you don't keep it friendly. So that's another story. <laughs> uh, so, um, I'm under here, I'm prying around, I can't find anything that was obviously loose, and I was prying on the uh, tie rod ends and uh, sway bar links and everything, checked all the bushings, everything's fine. And you can see under here, there is my new ball joint, it's, a, it's in. So, matter of fact, I got both ball joints on both sides in, so I couldn't figure out what the new noise was. So I was about ready to give up and maybe look at this on a cooler day. And I just so happened to have a uh, screwdriver. And uh, as I was prying around, um, I thought, well, let me just push down on the sway bar link right there. Uh, you can see that. It's, well, the sway bar link is connected to the upper strut. Then you got your uh, sway bar link that goes on the other side. But uh, these are sway bar ink uh sway bar link ends and you believe these are plastic and this is part of the problem i don't know why they put plastic on something that's going to have a thousand pounds of force when you hit a bowl uh hit a hole in the road and they got these uh metal bolts going through the plastic but um long story short here i decided to pry down on this thing and lo and behold i found my noise check it out so i got my pry bar my little screwdriver on the bottom uh, sway bar link, I want to push down, and if you look right here, when I push down, see that? I don't know if you can see it or not, but you can hear it. There's my noise, this um, bolt, this nut, or I should say uh, round uh, head that goes into the uh, plastic is wore out. So this was my issue here. And like I said, I have no idea why Ford made plastic sway bar end links. Ridiculous. <laughs> so I go online and I check on eBay and they make, I can get these and they actually make them metal like they should be. So there was my noise. If you have this issue with your Taurus or any Ford product, make sure you check these. Don't just uh, pry down on your lower sway bar link because when you pry down, all you're doing is adding more pressure that's already on here. You gotta actually push up, pry up, and when you pry up, you see if I can, I don't know if you can see that or not. I can't see through my camera lens. I'm, do, I'm doing this on my cell phone, so let me do this again. Pry up on it. Here we go. Actually, pry down, I'm sorry. There you go, I think you can see it there. Yep. You can sure hear it. So I am very happy about that. So I know what my problem was. So now all I gotta go do is order new sway bar links. So uh, sway bar end links, I believe that's what they call them. So I don't know. So there you go, a uh, little update. So if you have any noises, uh, definitely check that. If they, I had no idea that these would be plastic, but uh, apparently they don't break. They just uh, kind of wear out and leave you with all kind of rattling noise. All right, so that's the end of the video, guys. Uh, good luck. If you have any noise, definitely check those uh, end sway bar links. All right, thanks for watching. Later.